bit uh, Monroe and about to do a little bit of practice. So we're going to start by going up and doing uh, a few patterns, basic left hand patterns. Um, and uh, on uh, runway 23. And we can see here today, even though it's kind of cloudy, the uh, wind's not too bad. It's marginal VFR here at Mineral. So 10 statute miles, light rain, a uh, few clouds at uh, a few clouds at 600 and it's broken at a 1000 and it's overcast at 9000 so actually it's not VFR today because um, yeah that cloud cover just came down it just came down recently so in order for me to fly being a student pilot I'm gonna have to change the weather here because otherwise my my head's going to be right up in the clouds. So we'll do that real quick. Uh, we'll put it over to uh, a few clouds. Looks pretty good. And um, we'll uh, just leave it at that for today. So. And uh, looks like the pressure dropped a lot. So, push there. Altimeter set. Flaps are up. Mixture's full rich. Uh, landing lights on. Taxi lights on. Strobes on. Nav's on. Panel lights are on. Altimeters on, autopilot's off, transponder set to alt. Looks like we're uh, we're good to go. Carb heat's off, uh, and the uh, elevator trim is set to take off. Looks like we're good. Monroe traffic. This is November 88. Eight, X-ray Papa will be departing on two three in the pattern. Monroe traffic. So we. Uh, Make sure it's clear and it's clear over there to the east. And it's clear to the west. We've got no planes coming in. Looks like we're good. It's good. Okay, we confirm it's runway 23. And it is the big 23 marks. And, uh, Engine still, engine still good. There we go. So we advance the power, full power. We're gonna rotate out. We uh, got the uh, airspeeds alive. Rotate out at uh, 50 knots. Trim in the air, trim for the air for a VY of 70 knots. And there we are. Good climb. X23. Look behind me real quick. And we're aligned with the runway, so that's good. We're going to do our crosswind at 1400. Clear the skies, they're clear. Mineral traffic, 88 X ray Papa. Left crosswind for 2 3 Mineral. We get it turned to 1 4. Bring the nose down. 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, begin our turn to downwind. Federal traffic, 888 X-ray Papa, a left downwind for 0, uh, 23, Monroe.
coming around to zero 05. There we are on zero 05. Slows down a little bit again. About a third. We do our uh, before landing checklist. Look down, landing lights on, taxi lights on, make sure it's full rich. Looks good. Run that down. Just about to beam the numbers. There we are, we're going to reduce our throttle down. Dump the flaps 10 degrees. Car beat out. Begin our descent. A little bit more power. 80 knots, look over our shoulder. We got a little bit of time, so we'll clear the skies. We got nobody coming in on a long base. Doesn't look like anybody coming in on a final. Look over our shoulder, looks good. Watch that descent rate. Mineral traffic. This is the Cessna 888 X-ray pop-up. Left base for 23 Mineral. 80, want to be 70 knots here on the base. And that's what we are. We're 70 knots. Up another 10 degrees flaps. Watch that nose doesn't come up. Begin to turn the final. Mineral traffic. 888 X-ray Papa. Final for 2-3. Touch and go. Mineral. Overshot it a little bit. So we're just about on the glide path. We're looking for 65 knots here. Flaps 20, 65 knots. We're a little bit high. Bring that nose down just a little bit. Power out a little bit. There we go. We're right on that glide path. Right on that glide path. Okay, I'm sure I got the runway now. I know I've got it. We're going to slow our speed down a little bit. 60 over the numbers. Begin our round out. And we'll ease that throttle off. Bring that nose up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Okay, flaps up. Car peed in, power on. We're off 55, off in 50 knots. Aiming for a climb of 70 knots. behind us, make sure we're aligned and we're aligned with the runway, so that's good. So we're going to do that one more time. We're going to depart on the downwind. Mineral traffic, 888 X-ray Papa. Left cr crosswind for 2-3, Mineral. bit jerky there. One, two, three. We're going to level out at uh, 700. Mineral traffic, 888 x-ray pop uh, left downwind for two, three.
Okay, so let's take her up. Mineral traffic, Cessna 888 X-ray Papa, extending the downwind to the east. Mineral. Mineral traffic, Cessna 888 X Street Papa, three miles to the northeast at 3000, departing the area, final call, Mineral. So we'll throw it over to the common traffic advisory. Take the landing lights off, taxi lights off. Okay, we're leveled out at uh, 3,500, and it's hard to see any planes here. We'll do a clearing turn to the uh, to the west, bring it around to the west. Well, the southwest, 90 degrees off to what I was flying. We're heading at 2-1, 90 knots, 3,500. Looks like the skies are clear. We're at a good altitude to do some maneuvers. So we'll start off with a little bit of slope light. So, bring the throttle down below 2,100, car beat in. 3,500. Going down, flaps 10, flaps 20, flaps 30, 2100. Oh, gotta get some power in there. Get it up to 50 knots. Five knots. There we are. We're going to climb now back up to 3,500. Full flat. Okay, 
little bit more power, we're going to take the car feed out to climb up. 2100. We'll back our throttle off just a little bit. To level out flight. We're going to change our heading. Um, to point it down here. Reduce our power a little bit. Pitch our nose up. Five knots. So we're going to fly south. So there, we've got the aircraft trimmed for slow flight. Okay, so if I want to climb, if I want to turn to a heading of 150, I just do it slowly. Five zero. Oh, blew right through it. One five zero. So the slow flight's pretty good. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to do a power off stall. Back the power off, back the power off, back the power off. And we're stalling. Power in. Flap up. Flap up. And flap up. Leveling out of 3,500. Flaps are fully up. Trimming for level flight. And I'm going to bring my heading around to avoid running into that cloud there. 90 knots. And we don't want to break. 30, we we'll want to stay at 3,590 knots. So we're going to come down. Level the light off again. Try another power off stall. 90 knots. So we reduce our power back. Your speeds 110, 10 degrees flat, 20 degrees flat, 30 degrees flat. Don't want to climb. Full flaps. 3,500. We're going to pull that stick back. Control the direction with the ailerons. We're at 40. Stalling. Power in. Control the direction with the rudders. And uh, put the, put the uh, flaps up 10. Flaps up 20. Through 65. Flaps fully up. Leveling out at, at 3,500. Heading to 10. Let our speed come back up to 90. At 90 knots, we're going to put our RPMs back to 2,300. 
and then trim for level flight. Trim for level flight here. Okay, so we're gonna do a steep turn or two. So what's the best direction? Looks kind of cloudy around here. I think the best direction Five hundred ninety knots. I think the best direction is going to be two two zero. We'll go by the heading. So there we go. We're all set up. 90 knots. We don't want to exceed 90. We don't want to exceed 100 knots, and we don't want to be less than 80 knots. So we roll into our steep turn to the left. Give it a little power. Hold it at 90. 90. Hold it at 90. We're heading. One zero or two two zero? I can't remember. I'm gonna pick two two zero. Nose up a little bit. Nose up a little bit more. Two one zero. I'm gonna roll back the other way. Forty five. Climbing. Let that nose come down. Speed up. Looking for two one zero. We're climbing again. Nose down. Coming around to two one zero. Bank it over to forty five. Just about ready to roll out, so we begin the roll out on two one zero. There we go. Two one zero. And then we're going to go back up and look for uh, look for Monroe, and I think Monroe is just up this way here now. So we'll fly back. At, we're going to bring her down to. Uh, we're going to stay at three. We're going to bring her down to three thousand. Maybe we can get below the base of these clouds. Ninety knots. Coming down to three thousand. Where are we right now? Well, if we uh, if we tune in, we tuned into the Charlotte VOR, and uh, if I look for a from two vector, we're on two. There we are on two. So Charlotte, if we had a heading of three. Uh, two, three, we should be heading towards Charlotte. Three, two, three towards Charlotte. Okay, three, two, three will give us up towards Charlotte. At 3,000. See if we can level out. We're pretty much level here. Climbing a little bit. Ninety knots. Back off the throttle a little bit. Down just a touch. So three, two, three, and then if I got a DME over here, three, 
No, that's not a DME. That's just a uh, an ADF. So that lake looks pretty distinctive. So if I can find that lake on the map. Is it that lake? I wonder. That lake there. No, I don't think so. I think there's another lake that's not showing up on this chart. Oh, that's, a, that's the site I recognize. So that there, that's the solar, um, the solar power facility that's uh, to the south of Charlotte. And that will show up on this map here. So if I look at that and I find Monroe, there's Monroe, right? And then if I look down here, there, there's the Monroe Solar Facility. So it looks like, okay, I'm now five miles. So that'll be about five statute miles. Okay, so we'll do that call. And we're just about south. So if we head north, I think it should take us there. North plus seven. So just a little bit, uh, just a little bit northeast. And we'll do our radio call. Mineral traffic. This is Cessna 152888 X-ray Papa. Currently five miles south at 3,000 inbound for mounting Monroe. Okay, now we got to look out for Monroe, and it should be dead ahead up there. I think that's it. I think um, that there is Monroe. So it looks like we're going to be able to land, uh, if we head in the way we're heading, it'll be a smooth landing on 2-3. And we'll do a quick check here on the uh, on the weather. So the weather's changed at Monroe, and now it's 10 statue miles, light rain, overcast at 10,000. Um, oh look, you see how the dew point and the temperature is really close together? Uh, Altimeter is 3020 and the wind is 27 at 4 knots. So we're going to land runway 23 um, and we're going to set our altimeter to uh, 3020 and we're going to put it on real weather because the real weather is good enough for us to fly right now. So we take it up here, throw it on live weather. Oh, that's uh. So what's this METAR here? Monroe Regional. Overcast. At uh, 10,000. Um, light rain. 27 at 4. 3020. Oh, it looks like we can land there. 3020. We'll begin our descent. 3020. So we're going to set the altimeter here to 3020. 3020. There we go. Okay, so we've uh, we've lowered our RPM, so we're going to put our carb heat in, and we're on the 45. Speed's good. Speed's 90. I'm going to put some flaps in. I can use 10 degrees of flaps at this speed, and it's still safe, won't hurt the flaps. We have a pattern altitude here at Monroe of 1,700 feet. So that's where I'll level off, is 1,700. And we level off right about there. I'm going to bring my speed back up, bring the flaps up. 
2300. Looks good. A little bit of wind out of the west. Mineral traffic. The Cessna 888 X ray Papa joining left downwind on the 45 for 23 mineral. Bring this around to 05. There we are at 05. 2000, 1700. So we're uh, coming in. Do our before landing checklist. Back to standing lights on. Top lights on. Mixtures full rich. Uh, we're doing good. Speed's good. Uh, oh, speed's a little bit fast. Oh, and we're descending already. Drop the flaps 10 degrees. Watch that nose doesn't come up. Car beat's going to come on, and it's on. Check the flaps. Flaps are coming down. Looks good. Heading 05. Looks good. Okay, check over our shoulder. A little bit longer. We want to be on that 45. We don't want to descend faster than 500 knots. Uh, 500 feet per minute. Clear in the skies. Hard to see right now. Check over our shoulder. Looks good. Make sure that nose doesn't drop too much as we come through this turn. Monroe traffic. 888 X-ray pop up. Left base for 2-3. Full stop. Monroe. Oh, see we're dropping too much. So there we are. And we blew by that. And I think we might be a little bit low. Yeah, we're definitely a little bit low. A little bit more power. Drop another 10 degrees of flaps. And we want to be turning at uh, 7 plus 5, 2000, uh, 1200, so we're a little bit low. We're turning final. Mineral traffic, 888 X-ray Papa, final for 2 3. Full stop, mineral. So, um, sixty knots. I don't want to be any less than sixty knots. We're aiming for those numbers at sixty knots. Looks pretty good. We got a little bit of wind to th from the right. Uh, we're doing our uh, a round out. There we go. So that's not too bad. Oh, we got a viewer. How you doing, viewer? Just finished my flight, landed here at Monroe. Started out, um, it was uh, uh, IFR, but it looks like uh, the weather's changed a little bit and it's now VFR. Kind of a cloudy day, but threw the weather back onto real weather. And we're just finishing up. So we across the whole short line. And we are mineral traffic. This is Cessna 888 X-ray Papa clear the runway mineral. Okay, so oh, looks good. Pops up. Car peed off. Mixture. Uh, I'm gonna lean the mixture out just a little bit. Take much. Okay, we'll go find a place to park. There's a guy over there to my left. You sort of indicate the place to park. But I think it would be okay just to park up there. Don't want to 
taxi too fast. Okay. That's a nice place to pass. Throw my landing light off. Throw my strobe off. Break on. And there we go. Light is locked. Excellent. So, what was that? That flight was 37 minutes. So, that's not too bad. 37 minute flight. Okay, well, for all the people viewing, thanks very much for viewing. I really appreciate your, your patronage, all one of you. And uh, be sure to type something in the chat room there if you enjoyed the flight. And if you're just watching on YouTube, throw a comment in. Uh, if you can see something wrong with my, uh, with my 